Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Alrighty, welcome back. Yo, yo, yo. How you doing? That boat, that boat. What's going on? You look on? cozy in your, in your sweater. Man. You, what, you enjoying hey, I was the weather? A nap, honestly. <laughs> no, you know me. Nap time. Mm-mm. I was taking a nap. I was napping after work real quick. I was like, I'm gonna get this nap. We are gonna get up at seven thirty, whatever. I set my alarm and all that. Look that at you. We had, a, we had a little nap date. Cute. And that was fantastic. What about you? You good? My period started today, so then just take from that what y'all you are, will. Y'all be sync. You know we do. <laughs> y'all sync up. My shit was supposed to start on Monday, and I was like, Monday, all week I've been get like, her down for a nap date. Mm. <laughs> I was gonna take a nap earlier, but it was like five o'clock. I was like, if I go to sleep now, I'm not waking up till nine thirty. So, mm. yeah, not doing that. It's like, let and me I stay have up. That nap at like six something. Yeah, no. The way I've been feeling, cause like my menstrual cycle and fatigue are like, hey, best friends, I'm gonna be out of here, like gone. So, not a good idea right. for me. Um, so why you didn't tell me? Tell you what? That you was going to that party. <laughs> Y'all, I Which heard, party? I'm not I going to no damn Pointless party. I going to the busting nuts and eating butts party. <laughs> busting nuts and eating butts party. Yeah, I heard. I heard. Uh, first of all. Let me pull up the flyer. Hold on. Let me give you the, the deets on this. There's no but, address. There's no time. There's no date. <laughs> Actually, no. There's a are. date. It's uh, it's on Halloween. Check it. Bust and nuts. A even bust party. October thirty first. No phones. No cameras. No names. Um, All men gotta eat butt. <laughs> cocky sucking contest. Yeah, I'm not in that. You already know I'm not going to that. It says all fellas must eat ass. All y'all niggas better get that on your upper lip. Okay, <laughs> and then free naked tenant underwear. Yeah. I heard you was going. Why you ain't tell me? I don't even know where that shit keep it. It just said Atlanta, and there's no address. Yeah. There's mm-mm. yeah. Oh, so like secret location type shit. I heard probably. You. Wait, and wait, I didn't see wait, nothing wait. about test results, so I'm definitely not going. Like test results. Yeah, cause I need to know. Yeah, y'all, y'all got COVID. Y'all got STDs. I was about to say. I was about to say. You mentioned COVID. I was about to say. What about the rest of them? Mm-mm. STDs, COVID, all of that. Monkeypox, everything. Monkey, all that mm-mm. shit. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> That sounds like way too much and not enough precaution. Not any pre- precaution, insane, actually. It sounds. Huh? Like, it just sounds crazy. It sounds like one it of sound musty. One of them bushes that you ain't supposed to be having. Anymore. Yes, like what's your name? Party with it keep a water. So what's your name? Oh shit. Sure. Um, <laughs> no water Ford. The water Ford. A water Ford. It did that. Yeah. Mhm. Yeah. Not interested. <laughs> What's T though? What's going on? Wait, first of all, R.I.P. to PMB Rock. Oh, I thought she was about to say something else. I'm about to be like, excuse me, who? But yes, definitely no R.I.P. No. to PMB Rock. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was actually a fan, so. Yes, you were. Yeah, so that sucks. That I don't know, sucks. Man. I don't know what the man. Y'all don't know, man. People Go there. Live in love, my nigga, and I don't. This is the part of the world that I can't get with, man. See, it throws me. As a regular nigga, I don't even post my location when I'm there. Like, Imagine. nobody well, don't know niggas, me. We regular niggas, though. So, like, nobody not come look for me, but I'm still not do it just because you never fucking know. Not me, myself. At most, I'll post like a video if I'm at a party. If you can find what party I'm at, you're probably already at the party. <laughs> and you're like, hey, yo, where you at? I'm here. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. People had cool it up. Yeah. People had cool people to the, like, the man in there. Broad waffles daylight. In a, waffle, chicken and waffle in the rasta. Man and them chicken and waffle to the backside. Man can't be just sitting there having thing with the woman and thing, and then the people them just come in from to them. Yo, we are in a very, very, very crazy, just everything. Yeah. I don't know all these, yo, how much rappers we done lost in the past couple of years? Why, like, <laughs> All of them. On Over some foolishness. Street, all of them on street shit. Robberies. Mm-hmm. All of them. I don't know about Cali. Because Cali been like the center of like majority of them shits. Yeah. 
but they that's where what you call it was when he lived um when he died right what's his name that's not oh my gosh I know no, not, bring not, him, not him, not him, not him. I was about to say, we Oh, uh, what's his name? Oh, my God, this is so bad. What's his name? The nigga from New York with the little braids who sings a song. I, yes, Pop Smoke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my memory is shit. He was yeah, in Cali was when in Cali. that happened, right? Yeah, Yo, yeah. Was Cali energy is weird, nigga. Yeah, I don't know. I feel Nine like people just be... Y'all niggas ain't learn from Biggie, you know? Mm-mm. I don't know. I feel like it's a lot of, like, trying to prove yourself to, like, I'm big dog or whatever the fuck so like niggas be trying to clout chase on the weirdest shit like Same with rapper sacrificing season so mm. yeah no I'm not gonna go no further into that but yeah that shit's that's y'all business okay i don't know what y'all got yourself roped in if that is true yeah okay, okay i manage also like but just i don't know i just i don't I, i'm tired of my psa's because they don't really hit nobody <laughs> For real. I don't know. People just people just do fuckery. Like, sit down. Like, you see the next one over here. He got a chain. You want the chain. You figure, I got to go kill this man to go get this chain. But my thing is, you kill a man and you get the chain. You can't do nothing with the chain now because now it's proof that you did it. Exactly. Do they care, though? Like, what are you going to do? Go melt it down? <laughs> it was kind of rough how, like, everybody was kind of blaming the girl because yes. the girl had posted the... Mm-hmm. As a, so then it came out that he had done it too. Mm. All in all, but my thing is, did you see the the interview that he had like last week that he almost got robbed? No, they was hell to no, him. nigga. I wasn't going to rob him like two weeks ago. They were trying to rob him like two weeks ago, Mm-mm. and the girl wasn't. And the thing was, the girl wasn't praying what was going on, and he was trying to tell her, "Now nah, we gotta go." It's funny, like you know, I'm, like you're not feeling, and she's just like not getting it either. And I'm just like, first of all, that would turn me off. A bitch that's fast as fuck. In the fucking room. Nah, I'm good. I'm good because you can get us killed out here, and, it, and it's nothing. Literally, case in point. Yeah, legit. Get us legit wiped. Okay, like. Yeah, nah. I gotta be able to give you the look, and you'd be like, "Oh shit," and we out. Exactly. Like I don't even gotta say you know, nothing. Like, you're on the same page, like, cause sometimes you ain't even gonna have time to speak, nigga. Yeah, like, I'm giving you the look, like, like you gotta be able to pick up on the energy too, cause sometimes you I feel the energy know. in the room shift. You like, wait a minute, what the fuck going on? Uh uh-uh, uh, let's go. That me and you was good to go when we used to go to parties and yes for all hours <laughs> and it would just be like mm-hmm. we just it's like you feel it like ready mm-hmm. okay, gotta go <laughs> and we got the same shit like when we go to parties we pick our spots mm-hmm. like strategically i don't know how y'all just go in parties and stand up anywhere we do not do that mm-hmm. we do not do that we do not do that nigga i need to be able to see exits yep i need to listen my back is not gonna be to nobody no, no, no my no, back gotta be to a wall like, it's not even happening like we pick our call space. me crazy make sure i'm we walking have enough room all that i know mm-hmm. and for good reason because niggas is just it's crazy it. fucking just times we pocket. live in okay, just out of pocket just doing shit just because yes literally because i'm eagling you know because Bro. i can god damn <laughs> What you call it? Somebody was saying something um, the other day about um, the state of the world and why people still want to bring children into the world with it like this. And I'm like, I be having mixed feelings about that because part of me is like, hell yeah, I want some little niggas running around. But the other part is like, damn, I'm going to have to shield these niggas from this shit. Like, like, like nobody is safe. Big, big shit. Like, bad. You think, yeah. niggas, you think niggas was being shielded before? Like, from literally everything between media, nigga, you can't go to school, can't go to church, can't go to the grocery store. Like, you can't go nowhere. Like, everywhere is a fucking threat. Because you're going to be looking like Bubble Boy in a minute. <laughs> Dead ass. Like, Dead ass, nigga, going outside in a fucking helmet and a tail fucking um, <laughs> bulletproof vest. Like, yeah, that's fine. But, mm mm. Um, I ain't discouraging nobody. If you want to have them kids, you have them babies. Yeah, go right also, ahead. You know, I'm, but you know, just know that you, what you were already doing as a parent, has like to step up like two times. Mm-hmm. Two times. Yeah. Because of how the world's set up right now and how everything is fucked. Yeah. 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 Have your baby just pretty sick. Jack keep on. I'm going to be a bit of my just for sure. Mm-hmm. All you could really do for real. You can't stop living, unfortunately. Literally. Like, you really wanted to have a baby. You, it, it, it's fucked up. But you have to know if it's the right decision for you and if you can manage it at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, 
Yeah. You feel like talking about grief? I'm, yeah, let's, yeah let's <laughs> what's going on? I just lost somebody in my family too, right? So I get oh it. shit, Fresh. true. <laughs> they get uh, into, oh man, I forgot, bitch. Like, nah, you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now nah, you good? No, um, before we even get to that, the people them queen dead, right? Wow, I and... totally forgot about that bitch. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, I didn't mean to call her a bitch. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back. Get my just key. Get my just key. I need something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. My bad, son. <laughs> my bad. I did not mean to call that lady a bitch. Like, man, I read to the queen, bro. Oh, God. Listen. <laughs> I don't think anyone is really going to be mad that you said that. I know, but because... it was kind of rough. You feel what I'm saying? I wouldn't try to be rough. You know? Yo. The Pick fucking so, right, people tweets go. and ugh, memes have been ridiculous since that shit was announced. And I'm just like, wow. They've been and waiting, then on, though. They've been waiting for her. And on the other hand, there's the Caribbean people who are, like, so in distress because she's dead and da da da, da. I'm just like, are wow. Are they in real distress in real life? Some of them look like they really, like, I've seen some videos and I'm just like, Really? What, really? Commonwealth Island and Commonwealth yeah. Commonwealth people. Mm-hmm. But mm. freaking um you saw the video Oliver did? Oliver about, Oliver? Yes, Oliver Oliver. No, I did not. No. Okay. Not so Oliver. I did not see it. Oh, I gotta send it to you then. Um, so apparently Jamaica is trying to do a like in honor of the passing, whatever, twelve days of yeah, no that, excitement, that, fuckery. The, the morning, yeah, yeah. Like, first of all, why twelve? Anyways, um, <laughs> so his video was basically talking about like, nigga, fuck that. Like, that's basically what his video was saying, like, nigga, fuck that. Like, Not like Oliver. England is doing ten days. Y'all want to be extra and do twelve? Like, do you realize that this bitch was like? ruling us in unfair ways blah 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 basically shit that niggas know but it's kind of like nigga for real but people were so like up in arms about him coming out and saying that and i'm just sitting there like y'all really feel like y'all want to do 12 days of mourning for the leader of a nation that you gained your independence from like like if it was so great why did you need to be independent of them like i'm Please make it make sense. Like, I just, the math, I don't know. But, I mean, you could live good in your parents' house, but want your own. You could. You could. But was that the case? No, no, no. <laughs> but it is, I'm just saying, it could. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. yeah but. It's definitely not the case. <laughs> Listen, yeah, the people you know, that. One thing Jamaican likes being at things. You know that. True. So if somebody said I'm going to do 10, Jamaicans are going to do 12. Like. <laughs> That's just a fact. That's. Oh, my God. Mm-mm. Stressful. But, yeah. I, I know in. um Grief is. The queen. I want we are talking about with the grief. But no, I said before we get to the grief. I said before we get to the grief. I wanted to start with her. Oh, she's the freshest one. I suppose. I think I get it. I get it. Anyways. Um. <laughs> So, <laughs> you Aggie, <laughs> but if I want to grief the queen, listen, I'm, you know, moment of silence on them. So I don't you wish do a moment of silence. Moment of that. silence for what? So my listeners can cuss me out. What I don't do feel like mean? anybody that listens to this show <laughs> like really cares to, uh, you know, discuss all of that. That is not showing us no respect, and it's hurting me and my home girl. No, it's not, because I don't know which home girl you're talking about. <laughs> my other other home girls, my other home girls. Sure, but wow, the way you just made it, like, <laughs> I ain't got no friends. It's un just it, my home girls. I have a home girls. Big up your home girls, home yeah. Splits. Mm-hmm. Big friend them. and the home fries, yeah. Skillets That's and the, the fries. You see when people are so full of them. <laughs> Oh, bitch. That ain't got shit like, to do with me. no friends but me. So I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Nasty work, yo. <laughs> Nasty work, friend. <laughs> Woo. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, um, I know, I, 
I realized that September is like kind of a heavy month for a lot of people because for some odd reason, I I just like this past week just hit me that like over the past years, a few eminent people in people's lives have passed away in September. Mm. And I've been moderately dealing with that from like a bunch of different angles over the past week and change. So I was just mm. sitting there thinking because like it just got me in a mindset like how do I deal with grief? You know what I'm saying? Like because I know. I am probably doing the shit in a very unhealthy way. (laughs) So I was looking up um, like the stages of grief and shit. And for those who don't know, there are five stages. Supposedly, there's like question Mm -hmm. of like if there's seven or five. But the five Mm -hmm. stages are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Um, Yeah. I think I'm like stuck at denial in a lot of these. (laughs) Like for the people that have passed away that are close to I me, was like, anyways. When we, I was like, who dead fresh? I yeah, know, maybe. Not no, me. not nobody fresh for me. No, like, not like it. that. Nobody dead fresh, I don't know about. Not to say that it doesn't still no. obviously grieve. Yeah. Comes, like, mm-hmm. have a time limit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. And you so, say you're like, in disbelief? Yeah, I'm, I, I feel like I'm um, in the denial um, stage. Um, which ones, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, uh, everything. Because I just feel like niggas is on vacation and I'm going to see them, you know, when I oh, see them. Baby. Ooh. Yeah, and then like some, Fine. but it's like back and forth because it's like I flip between denial and acceptance. Because then another part um, is me like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> I gotta tell you, um, no. And then like another part of me is like, like everyone close to me that has passed away were ill in some way or another, or just super old. So like I'm like the super acceptance. Old. Yeah, because I'm niggas is like, you know, 100 years old, like, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> so then, like, the... <laughs> not you heaven. Aggie. Yeah, not seeing heaven. The... <laughs> <laughs> no way. He let you in there. I'll ask for forgiveness, okay? But, um... <laughs> oh, yeah, that always works. Go ahead. Then. Yeah, so that's, that's what the um the Bible and the people that I'm in the church say. Like, yeah, that, well, yeah. why you think I just said it? That always works. <laughs> so it's like back and forth because it's like my view on acceptance is like they're not struggling anymore they're not hurting anymore so it's like you know Mm -hmm. shout out to them for you know passing on and they're in a better place and all of that shout out to you for dying oh my god (laughs) shut up shout out to you for leaving this shithole that we call earth like no but (laughs) i can't stand you oh fuck okay yeah go ahead (laughs) bro Oh my goodness. I really don't like you. You know that? Like <laughs> say congrats on being deceased. I don't fucking know. That's crazy. Oh, it's just man. like the suffering is over for them. That's what I'm no. saying. Like, yeah, you, you know, you. that. Mm-hmm. So I like flip flop, like I said, between those two. I don't think I've ever experienced like the anger portion of grieving. Or like bargaining. I don't think take yeah. Me instead. Take me instead. That shit. Yeah, no. That's why they was singing that song, that running up that hill song in uh what you call it that it was going crazy with from what is something named Stranger Things? Um and depression definitely. I've had moments of depression in regards to that where, you know, shit sucks. But I think it's because um like I realized I was like Sickle Cell Awareness Month is September. Oh, all right, see to that. To that yes. And September is also when she passed away. Yeah. So, yeah. So I've been like, <sighs> no, no, no. but like also, I also realized that I don't remember the dates of when people passed away. Oh, like I can tell you the month. Yeah. But I, but as someone who is good with dates, I remember dates for fucking everything. Like I can't tell you. That's the date. That's like a. Yeah. One of the. What do you call it? What do you call that shit when you do it and it's just. You don't even know what you're doing it. Hmm? But it's, like a, but it's like. I said, like, what's that shit called? Like, when you do it. I'm having. Like, that's smoke. I had a, I'm having a blank moment right now. <laughs> like, you know, when you do some shit. No. You don't know what I mean? And then what? You said when you do some shit, like what? I'm confusion. Like, I had a blank moment. Y'all don't mind me. Don't smoke. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> don't smoke. <laughs> and then she lights up, nigga. <laughs> I figured it out. 
Okay, let me try. Maybe it'll come back. Go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, so like I don't remember the dates on anything like that. So like I also realized though that subconscious that subconsciously that oh. is... <laughs> Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> subconsciously like I realize like I'm getting sad or I feel like off or whatever. And then I'd be mm. like, what the fuck is going on? And then I like stop and think I'm like, ah, oh, shit, this date is coming up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So I don't know. That's just. What you trying to be in my business? Find out how of I course. Do you yes. Know. That's yes. I went um, first. <laughs> I want to put you on the spot out the gate. Now you straight. Um, me personally because my family is really big Mm -hmm. i deal with at least one death a year right Mm -hmm. so i think over the years that has kind of numb you know what i mean some of it Mm. doesn't hit it doesn't really hit 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 me until it's someone close i have to say it makes me sad like i lost someone it made me sad because i think about memories and all those Mm -hmm. kind of things but at the end of the day, my when I was going with my grandmother, my grandmother <laughs> taught me, listen, like, y'all go dead. Like, period. Like, like don't yeah. even, let's, let's skip the fact that, oh, I don't want to die. Well, you're, everyone has to type shit. Mm-hmm. So from young, we kind of build up this thing, and we didn't really fear death. You feel me? Mm-hmm. This is why when people, like, they funerals keep, and we used to run over to the church and be in people casket looking at dead bodies. This is why I'm, I don't, I can look at all of that shit. Pause. I was telling someone that when we were kids, niggas used to dare each other. Like, I bet you won't touch them. Like, you have to dare us. I know, but we I'm saying like, the yard, barefoot into the church to go peep and touch these people dead bodies. We even know who funeral it was. <laughs> it didn't even matter. Like, we never cared. So like, yeah. this is how, you know, I can look at all these dead bodies, bloody mm-hmm. bodies, and it doesn't mean anything to me. Um, Let me see. I think my first real like, yo, somebody really, really died was like my uncle in mm-hmm. 08. Because I saw him like regularly and that really, mm-hmm. and it was like sudden. Like I'm talking about, I seen, I was with, he was in the hospital. I went to go see him Friday night mm-hmm. and we was chilling, keep whatever Olympics was on. And uh. we talking and races and stuff. And then Sunday morning, I'm being called to go to the hospital ICU. This man, I walk into the ICU, blood and shit. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow. Yeah, all the shit dead already, basically. So damn. That was crazy. Um, my grandmother died, my father's mom, not my mother, mm-hmm. in like 2011, and we weren't like tight, mm-hmm. so it was sad though for me, but I feel like a lot of my sadness was for my father, because yeah. that's his mom, and not really, oh, that's my grandma, because not really, yeah. like, I, no, no, I didn't really, hey, yeah, you, you didn't grow up me, with her, tight like that, like, yeah. Hey, Whenever we had times, I didn't, you know what I mean? You don't have that bond. But it yeah. was sad, of course. Like, damn, my grandma, you know. Ooh, mm-hmm. ooh, ooh. Um, I didn't go to the funeral or anything, so I don't really have any whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, Just a quick story. That's, like, around the time that I came out. So life was really hectic. And I still haven't seen that lady gravesite to this day. Yikes. Yes. And um, I have no plans to go until unless somebody bring me up there. But anyway, <clears throat> hmm. um, the biggest death I ever dealt with um was my boo mm-hmm. mama t. i mean if y'all been listening to pointless talks y'all should know about mama t by now um and that was like what episode two we're supposed to record was, episode two episode one or two son yeah because like, we recorded the one first one and the next one we're supposed to record it was like was it the same day or the day after and i was Girl, like I was, listen listen i have this shit mm. down to like this shit was january it was wednesday january yes 10th. Yep, the day after my mom's birthday. That's the only reason I, I remember the date on hers because it was the day after my mom's birthday. I have a screenshot of um the phone call mm. because that I you talked to her. her. I called her. I was one of the last people to speak with her, and I'm telling this to the world, and not nobody really knows that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, <clears throat> wow, bitch. Yeah, so I have the screenshot of the phone call in my phone. I had called her on Skype. Mm-hmm. Like, so I put my little money on my Skype to mm-hmm. call her weekly or whatever. And I talked to her for like two seconds. I didn't like how she was sounding. And then I went to go take a nap. And like usual, people seem to pa- like pass when I'm sleeping. It always happens to me whenever I'm asleep. That's when I hear so I woke up, somebody die or something. That's mm-hmm. how it works for me. And I'm not sure why. But 
I wake up now and it's like I wake up, my father calling me, like, hey, she gone. Now I just remember yeah. my phone, phone dropped, my head was on spin. Mm. But I don't know, because I the whole day, me and my sister, we felt very mm-hmm. strong feelings. I felt like I, I feel very I don't know, like this don't feel right. Like I feel mm-hmm. like is this on the back? It's on the bad scale. You feel me? Yeah. And I spoke to her and I, I didn't like the way she sounded to begin with. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, oh fuck. Like so mentally, I was kind of preparing myself. And you know, yeah. sometimes you don't have always have time to prepare yourself or not. I mean, mm-hmm. it happened. Grief hit me like bricks. I tried to go to work the next day. <laughs> And was in that bitch boohooing. Oh my god! But I had like you know I was in the office and it was like clear, so it was me. But it hit me like bricks. I never felt that before, mm-hmm. and it was unreal. Um, I couldn't. I don't know if I couldn't believe it. Hmm. I could believe it because it was just like oh shit, like this is fucking happening, and I could kind yeah. of, I kind of felt. You know, but you know when you're close to someone and they kind of like leave Earth. I feel like you have this feeling, yep, <laughs> that leaves you like it's a piece of you. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, yeah, this is too fucking real. Like, and at that point, it's like because we in my family we've been we experienced death so much. It wasn't like, oh shit, this can't be true. Like, yeah, like, yeah. She has. But I also know that she was ready to go at any time. Yeah, and she always she always used to say, listen. I could die soon, you know. You know, she always just say that shit. I'm just like, yes, I have to find a way to make, to be like, to find comfort in. This find shit. peace with that, yeah. Yeah, I have to find a way. Um, anger, of course. Mm-hmm. A little bit, like, what the fuck, like, God, like, yeah. what, what, like, I did kind of say, like, God, like, all these people running around, and you take her, you couldn't take one of these. I was like, come on, come on, come on, come on. shit, like, okay, that. so then, okay, so that I had to come to like acceptance, like, she was ninety, what, ninety four. She lived a great life. All this stuff, like mm-hmm. she, she wasn't afraid of it. It's not like she, it's something she embraced. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So, but I mean, every I still go through grief. Like after, like we buried her and everything. Like mm-hmm. the tenth every month was like rough for me, especially mm-hmm. when the tenth landed on Wednesdays. They were very <sighs> rough. Um, it's better now, ish. I mean, I still talk about her every day because yeah. it's help. It helps me. It's like my therapy. Um, I still look at her pictures and her videos all the time. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I get to the acceptance. I, I get sad sometimes, and I think about her and stuff like that. But I've gotten to that part, I think, in my acceptance where I be feel. It's like I feel her like she around me anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's like even when I'm talking, like I talk to her out loud. Like she's right here in the room with me. So in the way, I, like it's kind of like I trick my mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Into it too. So maybe I, maybe bitch, maybe I'm not dealing with it. Who the fuck? Is <laughs> maybe I have trapped myself. In this thing that's like, yeah, it happened, but it didn't happen. But she's still that's here. That's literally me. Because I still talk to her and I'm still be, ah, I'm my guest girl. Yeah. What the hell these people be carrying on with type shit? Listen. Not like I, I don't call her or anything. I stopped doing uh-huh. that a long time ago because I used to call her after she passed. Speaking of that, I literally was, I think I just tweeted that the other day. Like, have you ever wanted to text somebody that's like no longer alive? Because I came across, I don't even know. Cause I sent out a blast on WhatsApp mm-hmm. and I didn't realize that I didn't remove Nika from it. So of course I ended up in the chat and there's like so many voice notes and I'm just like, I didn't listen to them cause I couldn't like, I literally couldn't cause it's coming up on the one year anniversary and I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> like, no, this is still way too fresh for me. But, um, it's weird to me how like our grandmas pass the same year and they're the mm. same age mm. because like you were dealing with that and I was dealing with that in my own way also. Like even though me and Mama T wasn't like this, like that's your grandma. Mm. I met her and like that's my baby too. So it's like, you know, like mm. whatever. So like Child. when I got the message that my grandma passed, I was like and then it was weird for me because remember, like leading up to that, like I just missed her so, so much. much, and I was like, I need to go see my grandma. Like, mm-hmm. what? I think it was like the week before, like two weeks before. I just had like this pull to her, and I was just like, 
yep. what the fuck? Like, I like it was so weird for me because I'm like, of course I always miss my grandma. Like, I used to be in New York two, three, four times a year just to go visit her and grandpa. Oh, so, yeah, like, girl, took me on the track. <laughs> No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for those who don't know, my grandma had dementia. So she didn't even remember me towards the last few years of her life. So, and I was fine with that. Like, I just was able to, like, still go and sit with her and, like, you know, spend time with her. She gonna holler Bible scriptures at me and all that. And just like your grandma, mm-hmm. she was ready to go whenever. Because she was like, the blood of Jesus is washed over me. I am good to go. Whenever I'm Jesus cool. calls me home, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. ready. I so I'm good out here. Exactly. And she was like I said also 94 so like mm-hmm. her passing I didn't feel like oh my god like whatever cuz like with everything else my grandma survived polio, she had a stroke, she had high blood pressure, diabetes, she had everything you could fucking think of like and she was out here kicking ass and taking names. So right. I just felt like whenever her time came, I would be like, you know, she lived a great life. She got Mm -hmm. however many kids, however many grandkids, great grandkids. She's good. But at the same time, like, I feel like a selfish part of me is just like, no, I want her to still be here despite everything she's been through. So, like, I lost my shit completely, obviously, (laughs) when I, I got the text first and I was looking at the phone like, what the hell? Like, I was like what do you mean mama passed on what what and like i still didn't finish wrapping my mind around it my oldest brother called me and i was like nigga this nigga calling me let me go outside i don't remember how the hell you told me like i don't i think i probably posted a picture of her or something i don't know but i was i don't know because i was just like excuse me what and like yeah I got off the phone with him and I called my brother that I'm closest with and we both sat on the phone bawling, like bawling. Like that fucked me up because that was the first like death that was close to me and like my grandma raised me. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That was like, what? Like, excuse me? Who? But um, I'm real good at compartmentalizing. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I was able to go back to work. Like I went in the bathroom. I like I cried for probably like 20 minutes. And then I went back to my desk and my boss was like, are you okay? And I was like, no. He was like, do you need to go home? I was like, nope. Because if I go home, it's no. But that following week when I had to go up for everything, nah. I was in shambles. Like mm-hmm. shambles. Um, dealing with that, I think that was harder for me than grandpa because granted that's her husband and he was there too, but it was just Mm -hmm. a little bit different because I have this lady's whole ass face. Like (laughs) that's my baby. So that was, yeah, that one, that one was that like got me. But like you said, like being numb to like even like within family and like media and everything like people dying every day like she was also very big on like any day you go just make sure you're prepared my dad was also very good of that because I remember when I was a kid he asked me what I was afraid of and I think I said like death or something and he was like why and I was like I don't know like it's like that's the end he was like as long as you're living your life in a way that you can be proud of you shouldn't be afraid of dying and I think about that. I'm like, grandma and grandpa, they both were out here living life the way that they saw that they should be living life. And they lived their life in such a manner that I'm sure they went with no regrets. Cause that's like mama too. Like, yeah. Yeah. But she, she different. Cause she knew she was, she was, um, she kind of knew her light was dimming. Mm. Remember I told you when I went to, when mm-hmm. I went down in Jamaica, how I found the book basically preparing you for like, Dying. Yeah. Like, what the? F-? I was like, yo, lady, you are, yeah, you're wild, but I feel you. I feel you though. Older folks be so secretive with shit, and I'd be like, can I fight you? Like, mm-hmm. it just I be dealing know, with shit. I feel when people die or whatever. I feel like I'd be worried about everybody else mm-hmm. around me mm-hmm. more than myself because same thing again when Mama died, I was very Your concerned mom. about my mom. Mm-hmm. And concerned about like my aunts and mm-hmm. my sister and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, that's your mom. Like, 
you and my sister, like you knew mama before me. You were yeah, I was before like, I was. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, I'm just like, this is a lot. Like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm hurting too, but y'all. And then like watching even my dad be so hurt and my sad dad. Just, like, oh, watching him be oh, the watching him be so sad was the just mush unreal. that they turned to, I was shook if okay because like <sighs> realest moment i think is getting to jamaica for like everything for the funeral and everything and walking into the house mm-hmm. and not hearing her sing out ring out mm-hmm. you know anything oh. and i was just like i think i had a little bit of acceptance in that you know you accept it's like it damn like, yeah she gone for real little pieces like mm-hmm. that shit was just like oh when i walked into her room and i was just like oh my god like mm-hmm. okay cool and then another moment is when like she was coming down you know the video I mm-hmm. have they, um, she was coming down the road mm-hmm. in the casket and everything and they kind of pulled by the house and mm-hmm. that was like whoa I was like oh fuck yo I swear like we were all were out there because we wanted to see her pass uh-huh. and one person started and oh. everybody started crying it was so bad yeah. funeral third moment listen it was like acceptance like yeah. as the day went on, I was like, holy shit. And going to the funeral and realizing that y'all her casket was open. Uh, the glass. The yeah. Glass at the top. Y'all, no one told me. So First imagine of all, walking up on this thing. That's dope as shit, but at the same time, like nigga, warning. Bruh, imagine walking up like I did. I walked up. It's my a closed casket. Said, she not coming. She not coming. Cause my sister not really into the whole death and thing, and she's mm-hmm. scary like that. But that's okay. So I'm walking. <laughs> Don't up, come so for her. <laughs> <it's> all right. <laughs> I walk up and I'm like, oh, hold on. I'm looking down at Mama right now, like in her face, like, okay. Not that it was just like, oh, she had looked great, you know, mm-hmm. full of grace, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but it that had me away, and I, I had I stared in her face, and I was right there. I did not move. I, I could I just looked at her face and I was just like, damn, son. Like, damn. And then here come acceptance again. My mom comes around. And then I heard her like ring out, like with the oh. sharpest, like oh my voice God. that I ever heard before. And she said, Mom. And then like I was like, Oh shit. Here we go. This is it. This it right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the moment my dad had because same thing like you. I was worried about everybody else. I'm always taking Mm -hmm. care of everybody. So, of course, I had to call my immediate brother. Then later that night, I didn't even want to talk to dad about it. I didn't even want to tell him. But obviously, I was like, whatever. He called me in disbelief. He was like, what crack I talk about? And I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, me, like, what are you talking about? Because I'm like, what? He's like, but am I dead? And I was like, mm-hmm. like, I just sighed deep. He was like, no, John, no. And I was like, yes, daddy. Yeah, that he was like, shit like mine. He was like, me, about his mom, he was like, Catherine, you know what them tell me say? I can't like, stand what? your father. <laughs> like, nigga, what? They told you, but you don't know? <laughs> Okay. yeah my dad was just like no and then like i heard his voice break when i tell you i've seen my father cry once Eight. in my life and i was like right six there. i was like oh shit he was like no and then he like got off the phone so fast we weren't even on the phone two minutes and he got off the phone so fast. i just texted him and i was like i love you like you know mm-hmm. whatever and then like after that like you know business as usual he was like all right so how are you arranging these tickets how are we doing this yeah. this and this right. full organization right. mode and then we get to New York and everything's going on. Everybody, you know, everybody vibing, whatever, whatever. And then like when we get to like the church and everything, like I saw him carry her. Same thing. I saw them wheeling him in. And I was just like, whoo. Yeah, so I was yeah, like, bro. like I have a video, same thing. Like I have a video of them wheeling her in. Like, ready or not, I'm here. Like, what's yeah. up? Yeah. And I I thought I was gonna be fine. I don't know why. You and I was casket, no? huh? Open casket, closed casket? Yeah, open. Um, well, they closed it for the ceremony, but we had a viewing, so like people come yeah. in and whatever. Did you go and, look at everything? Yeah. So I mm-hmm. thought I was gonna be fine. I was like, I'm gonna go look, say my final goodbyes, oh, you know? Sure. Friend. Yeah. Whew. Friend. I went up there 
with my brother, of course, because that's my dog. Yes. He got yes. my back for everything. We go up there, and before I even get to, like, the mm. face, like, mm. I was looking at the body of it because it has her name and birthday or mm-hmm. whatever. I already start shaking, fucking leaf mm-hmm. in the wind. As soon as I get to, like, halfway point where the open, lost my shit. Lost my, like, bawling like loud living ugly ass i want to cry like i was bawling and like nearly drop dog no lie <laughs> and like my brother had to like yeah, hold me up make you weak as fuck yeah yeah and like carry me to my seat like my dad was so pissed <laughs> he was so pissed that i was crying because he was like <sighs> like <laughs> like he just come upset me like i was like nigga like <laughs> I was supposed to be just gonna be like, all right, grandma, peace out. Like, nigga. Pick up yourself. Like, ah. for real. Nigga, <laughs> that shit had me like fucked up. But everybody in that bitch was crying though, because grandma, like, first of all, people flew in from all over. Because right. between everybody that lives in Jamaica and like all the kids and like the neighborhood that they lived in in Lucy and mm-hmm. et cetera, like that shit was like packed out. Like that shit was, it was a, it was a great service and all of that. It was, you know, they sent her mm-hmm. out real nice. That's how I felt. Um, her service. service was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Like no hitch. Um, so that was, you know, some, hi- some hiccups, but mm. of course, you know, of Jamaican, course, but like, you know, it, but. yeah, Jamaican people, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, I think, you know, we sent her, she she wrote out. So Yeah. So that was, you know, that was that. And then, like, with Grandpa, I didn't cry like that for Grandpa. Like, I obviously, I cried, but it was a little bit different. But I was looking at it like, damn, he going to go be with his boo now. Like, you know, he said, fuck y'all niggas. It's been a hundred and one plus. It's been real. And both of them went out in their sleep. So That made me so, both of your grandparents? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Both, um... I think that's around kind of the same thing. Mama kind of was like, kind of, she just kind of like faded, faded out. Like, mm-hmm. It wasn't no crazy shit. Like, yeah, I like, did nothing. She was mm-hmm. just like, all right, lift up the battery. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, shit, I forgot what I was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Again. But <laughs> it's, um, it's so interesting to me though, like, after someone passes away like how things change for the people that are still here like you're saying that how like sometimes you know you sit and you talk to mama t and all of this stuff and like you dream her and all of this and i remember i think you had i think it was you who told me like the whole like was it like a gray feather or something like that that you had seen and i remember i had seen one too one time and i was just like Mm -hmm. hey girl have you seen one yeah yeah and i feel like it's so interesting, like, even though it's a feeling or it's, like, something physically happens, like, you know who that represents. Yeah, and I think I, because of my, my because of how my sleeping is set up and my mm-hmm. dreams are set up, I kind of get to feel it even more because I see her in my sleep a lot. She comes to mm-hmm. visit me in my dreams a lot. Especially, like, when she first passed, though, mm-hmm. like, I used to see her and it was, she would tell me like, I'm good. And she would just mm-hmm. be running off. She would be like, hey, <laughs> and then she would be like, all yeah. right, I gotta go. I got stuff that I'm working on. Mm-hmm. And I used to be like, okay, cool. And I used to know that. Yeah. But I would definitely get little signs and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, Ooh, like yeah. the, I told you that one story, right. With the chair and shit. Right. Oh, did you? I feel like- and the, the impression on the chair. Yes. Yes, that. you did. Yeah, so I've had my moments with her a few yeah it's always interesting to me like hearing stories like this because a part of me doesn't want to believe in certain things like i don't want to but but i know that it's real so it's kind of like listen people say certain things that's why i don't be like i i don't shrug off what people be saying because you you think people be playing but okay Mm -hmm. yeah and like remember i told you (laughs) After Nika's um, funeral, mm-hmm. first time ever in my life, a thong popped on me when I was in the bathroom after the service. <laughs> and when I say I just bust out laughing, because literally, 
I've been wearing thongs since I was like 12. <laughs> mm -hmm. And she has always been like, nigga, how do you wear that? Like, she used that's to my, always why, get on me that's about that's it. That's my girl right there. <laughs> she, <laughs> she used to always get on me about that. And she worked at Victoria's Secret. So she used to always be like, girl, I'm, mm -mm, no. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. So, like, that shit happened. And I was just like, okay, she's fine. Like, mm -hmm. that for me was like my one, like, whoo. Because, like, why did my thong pop? Why? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, That's funny. That funny. Like, in all my years of wearing draws, I didn't have no draws bust pump me. And it wasn't like something was tight or nothing. It was just like, I'm peeing, I finish, I get up, I'm pulling it up, and then pop, it's just separated. And I'm like, no Little loose signs. string, no nothing. It just separated. No signs and shit. I was just like, okay. Like, that was my little bit of, like, moment of acceptance also with that i was just like okay yeah she's yeah, it comes every now and then. it pops up and then it yeah except yeah comes in like little pieces mm -hmm. um on the topic of that though like i feel like a lot of times when people think of grief even though we spent like 20 minutes talking about it they only think about like someone passing and you grieve in so many other ways and so many different things like relationships whether it be mm -hmm. platonic or romantic, mm -hmm. um, employment even, um, moving, like just mm -hmm. different stages in your life, there are things to grieve. And I think a lot of people, myself included sometimes, have a hard time like dealing with grief in different forms. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just think it's really important, like we say every other week, like just like take care of yourself and like pay attention to the things that you're going through because I know that me myself like even though I'm sitting here I'm like oh yeah I avoid like at the end of the day like I feel my shit you know what I'm saying like if I'm in a space like let's say we finish recording right now and I sit here and I'm like fuck some shit washes over me I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna feel it I'm not gonna be like oh no I gotta get away from this I'm gonna distract myself there's certain instances like depending on what it is I might distract myself because I'm trying to get something specific achieved but at the end of the day like you still gotta deal with your shit some way or another because it's gonna be there you know like the feeling it doesn't just go away and I heard someone say something like dealing with like grief is like it doesn't go away but it does change so, like, as mm -hmm. time passes, like, the way you grieve something is going to gradually or intensely change. But it's just something that you kind of, like, you just have to get to the point of acceptance at the end of the day. So, I don't know. I just feel like that's really important because people be out here dealing with shit and, like, not dealing with it. it. Yeah. And giving yourself time to grieve things. Too. Yes very very important the making Definitely time for that give yourself the space and time to grieve mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with it if you need it because grief really doesn't have a time <laughs> timer on there mm -hmm. because i always tell people like i'll be grieving mama for the rest of my life. same like the rest of my life my life mm -hmm. so and i but i know even now what i feel now is not how I felt on January 10th. So exactly. I know that the feeling is better, except, you know, acceptance mm -hmm. comes different things. You think about the memories. Like me, this is why I always say with people, when you get around your family, especially y'all with grandparents, take mm -hmm. pictures of them, make videos of them. Listen. Whenever I was with my mom, I made videos, I took pictures, anything, because I needed that. And I knew. Yep. And you know, the last time I saw her, it's like I knew. I just couldn't mm -hmm. stop taking pictures. Of me, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? And all that shit. And it's. And it's weird because when I was leaving, the last time I actually saw her, like, face-to-face -face when she was, mm -hmm. like, alive or whatever, it's like we looked at each other, right? And it was, like, the weirdest look. Like, yo, and I remember my eyes watering. And her Was that when we were cleaning. leaving? And we were on the front porch, on the veranda? Uh, when was, that was 2017? Yeah, I yes. think so. Yes? Yeah. Yes, yes correct. Yes that oh shit hey yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> i think yeah, she said something that, to you like yo man we're good or something like that yeah, and like kind of like fanned like, it yeah, off yeah and i'm like bro like i'm looking at you like it's weird because mm -hmm. like you look at it back and i'm like bitch did i know that's like the, did i know deep down like you probably you know, had a feel because i remember you grabbing her face and like kind of was just like mm. and she was just like my good man like girl yeah like i feel oh, her and i'm just like yeah oh. 
about that. That's why, like, the day everything had started, I was like, man, this don't feel good. Something's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you got to give yourself time, man, honestly. Yeah, like and you it, said, though, with the pictures mm-hmm. and thing, like, you know my phone is filled right. with pictures and videos yeah, cool, man. of pictures. my grandparents. Like, no, for real. <laughs> Like, I used to just set up my phone and just be like, so, Grandpa, <laughs> and just start talking. Just, like, asking mm-hmm. questions and, like, whatever. But, yeah. Spend time with your loved ones. Mm-hmm. Spend time with your loved ones. Definitely. Wow. Life is very, um, whatchamacallit nowadays, just quick. Yeah. Nowadays. Very and much so. It seems like a lot of the older heads is headed out. Mm-hmm. We getting older, so you know, Girl, it's... like fuck this. <laughs> like this fuck shit this. is ghetto. Goodbye. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I was gonna say something. I just had a brain fart. Damn. Oh, oh. And I don't smoke, so nope. there's that. <laughs> Damn. Wow, that sucks. It's gone. Oh, you know, oh. maybe it'll come back later. <laughs> Ouch. Um. Yeah, I think that's all I had. That's all you just, had. You that's all I want to talk about. Talk just about you know, grief just put grief on there. Okay, and let yeah. them know to, to grieve properly and all these things. Yes, and give space. Yes. What about just a quick one? What about being the supporter or support mm. of someone who's grieving? Mm. Okay, right. so considering different people grieve in different ways you have to be open to like mold yourself to how someone needs you to be there for them just like the love languages thing how someone grieves and what they need for support you have to be open to receiving that whether it's asking Mm -hmm. or just taking note of how they respond to what you're doing and what you're saying Mm -hmm. you have to at least like the biggest thing is like making sure that they know that you're available Because, like, some people, they don't even want you to say anything to them about it. They just want to know that somebody's physically there. Some people want to be alone. Some people want to talk about it. Some people, you know, want to be distracted. You never know how it's going to go. So if you, like, someone in your life is, like, grieving something, just make yourself available and just let them know that you're available. And you have to also, like, check your energy. Mm -hmm. Because it's so... Like, I hate saying it because I sound like one of them little, you know, crunchy, crunchy people. But, like, energy transcends. Like, even if someone is grieving, they can still pick up on your energy. Like, if you don't seem like an opening, welcoming, warm, comforting space for them, they're not going to want to open up to you about whatever they're going through. Even if you're open to it, you still have to check yourself. Like, am I in the right space to help this person with what they're going through? So, yeah, just be mindful of that. Like, you can check in, but sometimes telling people, like, oh, it's okay, you know, it's for the best or whatever, not everybody want to hear that. <laughs> like, somebody might tell you to go fuck yourself. Don't. I stop playing with y'all kids nowadays. I just tell <laughs> my condolences. Yep. Heart, heart, emoji, emoji at mm-hmm. this point. Unless you like my family and I know mm-hmm. we, we could talk that way. And exactly. We know what we're talking about. I really just try to keep it short because I don't yep. want to tell nobody nothing. They're going to tell me, oh, my God. Like, I can't. <laughs> So like so yeah exactly and like also like my thing is definitely the my condolences and like i'm here if you need somebody to talk to like that's my two me, little personally. you know i just need like with me and babe it's like i just i think she understood that my grieving style was talking about it mm-hmm. because i just had to talk through it i had to talk to mm-hmm. a lot of my feelings it would pop up and let me talk or I would be sad. My mm-hmm. energy would be like da 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 da, and she would know why. Or yeah. the date would come around, mm-hmm. so she would do something special with me or mm-hmm. for me, and that helped. <laughs> Girl, get out! Now she wanna come fetch me with these damn things. But the, we call them, we call them grabbers. <laughs> Grabbers, right? Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what the birds call them. Yeah, call the them. birds, yes. Yeah. But yeah, like <laughs> that's very important. Like having somebody that you can also like lean into when situations mm-hmm. like that come up. Um, 
And it doesn't even have to be a romantic partner. It could be a sibling. It could be a friend. It could be whoever. Because I know, like, me and my brother be having these moments with each other sometimes. And it'll just be like, dog. And he'd be like, yeah. And it will just, mm-hmm. like, just sit. You know what I'm me saying? So, like. Me and Curry, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally get it. <laughs> yeah, so, like. I don't know. It's different. And then also, like, you could de- like grieve differently with different people about people. the same person yes. or the same thing. Oh, yes. So it's yes. just important to be open, like, no on the lie. receiving end. No so. lie. <laughs> no lie. No, you for real, because you'll grieve with, like, I'll grieve with, like, my auntie and them over here, mm-hmm. like, hey, yo, mm-hmm. da, da, da. and then I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> making it but it depends on the people and how they yeah grieve, right because mm-hmm. you got some people you bump but they be like oh my gosh it's mm-hmm. da, 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 and da, 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 and i'm at that point maybe in the grief where i'm like yeah yeah it happened <laughs> still happening mm-hmm. going to be happening this is what it is hey she lived her life i know she mm-hmm. happy she chilling she wanted to go see her man she always told us period that. that's, why we, that's why we buried <laughs> her in her wedding in the wedding dress thing right because she wants, she told us to do that. She requested Aww. that so, so she can go see her man. So listen, listen. she's good, and I know because I've seen her in my, you know, in my mm-hmm. dreamland and stuff. And she's told me that she's good. Yo, she tell me she's good, then I gotta be good, and that's all it is. Listen, and people like, oh my god, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother's man is on top of her physically and in the afterlife because the two of them very on top of them one another, oh, and I'm just it? like, yes, girl. <laughs> Oh. We were at the gravesite being so inappropriate when they went to bury grandpa. Cause I was like, wait, isn't this the same plot, grandma? And I looked and I was like, it's the- one of my cousins bala. Even at under- afterlife, grandpa the front of our grandma. I was like, okay, right. I was like, it you- <laughs> I was like, that's okay. why they got so many damn kids. I was like, I can't stand you. <laughs> Listen, they said I do, honey. I do. <laughs> Till death now and do then, us part okay? and, and, and forevermore. <laughs> Listen, always and in all ways, yo. Oh, they were so shit. fucking cute, though. But, like, whoever said that, and then, like, the whole, the niggas in the back all bust out laughing. I was like, y'all are... <laughs> Not my crew. I think mama and my grandpa, they separated. They're mm-hmm. in the same, they're at the mm-hmm. same cemetery, cemetery or whatever, but they're, like, yeah, a few a plots distance, away. Yeah, a little distance away from each mm-hmm. other. I don't know what happened with that. It was supposed to be a different way, but Jamaicans. Mm-hmm. So, hmm. I guess you'll take any who they'll catch. That's all. <laughs> At this point. But considering the fact that my grandfather died in like 93, 94. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they were probably I, like, I, mm, I hope we ain't saving this. Died like, since then. <laughs> 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 and then there's niggas like us that just be laughing about everything so i mean but and then people would say oh wow because you're not dealing with your grief mm-mm, like mm-mm, i don't understand mm-mm. which ways listen i dealt with that shit listen the first huh. fucking eight months of that shit was hell yeah. okay i lost weight it was fucked yeah. up my ass started the whole collapse and shit listen mm. i started fainting and all that shit i went through it we didn't even talk for a while during that I oh, mean, you was beefing or some stupid shit like that. Something like that. Because I went back to our conversations <laughs> to try to see if I could find a date, and our conversation popped up like mad late. Like, oh my like, gosh. When did this conversation start? 2019. <laughs> How? <laughs> I think we Dang. was beefing, but that's okay. Where's my that's thing? Good. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that we was. was beefing, yo. Let me tell y'all. Yeah, <laughs> Let me tell y'all that real was. Quick. Listen. Listen. How we just got to talk? Oh, I didn't know. Oh. Hmm. But anyway, that was fun. <laughs> but anyways yeah like let me tell you i think me and this girl was beefing right and then we both went to an event that we usually go to right mm-hmm. and i seen this bitch in the event like trying to act like <laughs> we don't come to this shit together like i really was just like, this <laughs> here, like this and then you was with somebody and i was like who the fuck, who the fuck? okay yeah i was like wow Bro, that was a time. I don't even know what the hell we we're beefing about, but you Bro, know, dirty scoundrel. I was like, you're supposed to be standing there, real brave. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I think it was like the in between of like our grandma's passing and then mine passed, and then you were like, uh, yeah, we're dead in this shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is life is crazy. too short. That's not happening. This conversation too long for me to go back and look for nothing. Jesus. Yeah, like, don't. Just in case you ever wondered if me and Pointless have ever beefed before. It was very short lived. 
very short lived, but it happened. Get on mine, honey. You, please. yeah, y'all motherfuckers that pay her mind that we get y'all feelings hurt. I can't pay her no mind. Don't pay her no mind. None whatsoever because pay her what? Mind and don't pay her mind at the same time. Though. Yeah. Oh, I think did I say no? Damn, I'm trying to think. When the hell? Mm-mm. Hmm. Listen, like beef for real too. Like we were not niggas, talking. Niggas, like, we literally. Oh my niggas, god. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I'm one of those people. Like, if we're not fucking with each other, I have no reason to watch your life. So I'm fo- unfollowing. Like, I corny, so corny, y'all. I don't care. I don't so need to see what's going on with your life if we're not talking to each other. That's corny weird to me. Corny. Like, if there's like, fuck. shut up. If there's like an understanding on both sides that we are not in communication, like. I don't see why I need to be following you. Like, if it's like one of those things, like distant friends, okay, whatever. But corny. like, we not fucking with each other. I do not need to be following you. She was you, being like... a fucking cornball, people. She mm-hmm. was being a fucking cornball. She just like, girl, seven years of friendship at that point. <laughs> seven, almost eight years of friendship at that point. You will be here talking about you blocking people. Like, girl, shut up. Oh my god, I just came across. <laughs> What did you just come across? Please hide it. <laughs> a part of the conversation in the midst of this, I think I had sent you a link to episode five. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> and you replied, what's this? And I said, oh shit, a response. Oh, shady. <laughs> that's real cute. And you sent me a side eye emoji. What kind and of side? <laughs> the end of the conversation. Like that was it. <laughs> a side eye? What yeah, the side eye emoji. You know, like the, what you call it? Oh wow! Yeah, damn! I was sending you paragraphs, bitch. I need this. Jesus Lord, Whew. I'm, we got to talk about this after. I'm gonna send you this. <laughs> this is crazy. What were we just talking about? These are some long ass text messages. Was we arguing or something? No, we were just, you know, feelings, feelings, feelings. Like... Feelings about what? What is that? <laughs> That's a long ass message you sent me. Whoa. Well, what is yeah. that? I sent you that? Mm-hmm. What did it say? Read the first like sentence or two. Greetings. Oh shit. <laughs> period. Like greetings. Pull up the shirt. Greetings, period. Let's get that out. <laughs> Double space down. So about this not speaking to you thing. Ah, <laughs> let's go. Stop practicing. Yes. Mm. Who child? Yeah. Oh, and so, it's long, ain't it? Because yeah. I was- <laughs> It's lengthy. You niggas got me with writing fucking stories. Lord, no. Child. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really Life and things. Ball, yeah. A cornball, bro. <laughs> A cornball. Not even cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Anyhow. I hope y'all dealing with y'all shit for <laughs> those of y'all who are going with through shit. <laughs> um, you being nasty? No, I'm not. The TV. Oh. I saw something. Because the way your me. jaw just dropped. I was yeah, like, what are you yeah. looking at? I don't know. I thought maybe somebody bent over or something. No, no. Not, 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 not currently. Not currently. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I'm I feel you. Her, you know, get her to holler for a dollar or something. Mm. Funny you say that. Um oh, did you see the picture I posted on my story um, on Pointless Talk Story yesterday? You gonna tell me or you want me to guess what it is? It's a dick. No, you didn't see it? Okay. Wow. Um, so the, so here we go wrapping up. This is the end yep. of Pointless Talks for That's it. That's how we're ending it. We uh, just because I don't know why. The, wow. You know what? Not an actual. It's a detachable. Anyways. Um... <laughs> She thought I was playing. It's the end of pointless talks for tonight. No, friend. No. <laughs> Fuck all that other shit. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're trying to hit a thousand followers. Um, <laughs> 1100 if you're feeling spicy. Um, and that's it. Just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Pointless Talks. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>